This strapping young lad is Tristan Barnett, and he makes knives. He makes knives out of all kinds of stuff. Old tools, bed frames, car bumpers. If it's a hunk of metal, he'll make it into a knife. And I like that creativity. I like his style. And if you peruse the plethora of videos that he posts, you might get a glimpse of his murder wall. He's even got the cleaver from the zombie in Hero Quest. In this series, I'll be showing off my very own collection of Tristan Barnett's original works. This is Tristan Barnett's Wonderful Creations, and I'm your host, JJ Jakes! Stay sharp! JJ Jinx here, and today is my birthday. Now, last year for my birthday, I did a video on this knife. This is the Mikov Predator. It's a lever lock, automatic, spear point style blade, blah, blah, blah. I did a video about it last year. Uh, so I figured it would be appropriate if I used it to open a birthday present. I really like this knife. I got it for a pretty good deal. It was on sale. And I just checked yesterday. Blade HQ still does not have these in stock. I give the whole story behind this knife. I'll put a link to that video below. But they still have them in blue and black. And then they have a couple of specialty ones that are more expensive and a couple of different finishes. But anyway, my birthday knife from yesteryear is going to be used to open this package from Tristan Barnett. So welcome to a very special birthday episode of Tristan Barnett's Wonderful Creations. Tristan, I think, is more excited than I am about me opening this box. Uh, he told me that it would blow my mind. I am ready. The Mikov Predator was featured in one of the James Bond movies. It was wielded by a villain. Uh, I think it was Casino Royale, but it was the uh, Damascus Steel version, which, uh, good luck getting your hands on one of those. <laughs> Thank you. 241 Predator. One of my favorite colors, a nice light purple letter in the box. Happy early birthday. Well, I saved it for my actual birthday, so it is right on time. Thanks for the birthday present. I'll put a link to the video below where he opens the present he got from me. I'm glad to say I will be turning 19 this year. Here's a token of my appreciation, and since I love your Gerber Tech 2, thought I would give you a version that I made a year ago. This is definitely one of my finest work of art made hope you enjoy and the knife sheath i bought a while back and of course i wrapped the handle in leather to give it a good grip p.s i hope you enjoy this box of goodness your friend tristan b or you can call me tb knives and he even included a drawing of a couple of daggers and a cross shape <laughs> That's excellent. Thank you very much, Tristan. And congratulations on turning 19. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Wow. Um, well, I got an American flag patch. Maybe I'll put it on my bathrobe. Got something in a box, Maxim Lockback Knife. I've heard of this brand before. I probably have stuff from this brand. Stainless steel serrated blade, Laymar Le trademark handle. What the hell is Laymar? One hand opening, stainless steel clip, limited lifetime warranty. Oh, okay, it's one of these um, knives with a commercial name on it, uh, Tifco and an 800 number. I am tempted to call that number, <laughs> but I'm using my phone to film, so how can I, yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Maxim, manufactured in China, national headquarters, USA. Actually, I remember 
Max Ham had that like gray case of knives that I got and they were crazy looking things. Um, this looks kind of like the Dollar Tree camp knife, but a little bit upgraded. It's actually got a steel pocket clip uh, and it's embedded in the way that the Walmart, Walmart $1 Ozark trail knife has its pocket clip. I wonder if it's identical. Hmm. Well, thank you, Tristan. I like cheap knives and... Company logo? I don't know. I'll have to look up that company to see if they do anything interesting. Up next, let's see. Oh, we got one of these. We've featured numerous times in a previous video. It's one of those horn uh, friction folder style knives. At first I thought this was wood, but no, it's, it's actual animal horn. And it's a razor style uh, blade on it. I do like how it tapers kind of outward towards the end. It's kind of like an old school machete look to it. <laughs> so you can just hack the hair off of your face. <laughs> All right, I'll just get this big one out of the way. All right, Tristan Barnett likes to write down, for me anyway, uh, what he makes these things out of. This says baseball bat handle and bed frame and a piece of aluminum. And I like the way it's wrapped. It's this brown paper and electric tape. It almost kind of looks like a body or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, I will use this knife to open this knife. Bink. Baseball bat handle, how? I'm very interested in this one. And of course, the good old Ben frame. Tristan Barnett's preferred medium. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. <laughs> all right, first of all, <laughs> it comes in a very nice leather sheath. Oh, I like that smell. Oh my god. This is amazing. It's... <laughs> you know, it actually kind of looks like a broadsword with, like, you know, that big-ass pommel. But, well, there you go. That's the handle of the baseball bat. It's got a nail shoved through it to connect it to the lower tang of the knife. We've got a leather-wrapped handle. That's, uh... Rawhide. And you got a bed frame spear point blade. And the aluminum piece is the guard. That is fantastic. It is really comfortable, too. I mean, it makes sense. You use something that's meant to be handled, literally, and you make it into something else that's supposed to be handled. The comfort follows. I don't believe I've ever heard of a baseball bat being made into a knife. Tristan Barnett's This Is Truly Original. Oh, perfect. We got a little knife stand. <laughs> oh, check that out. It's J.J. Jinx burned into it. That is awesome. By T B, I am, am going to treasure this. It will be used to display the baseball bat knife. <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, here's something interesting. Tristan Barnett sent me a coin. <laughs> It says uh, Canada, okay, so it's a Canadian piece, 1968. That was the year of the Tet Offensive. So, this is my commemorative Tet Offensive coin. Which is also dated February 15th, 2008, for some reason. Not sure what happened on that date, but it'll commemorate that too. Here's a little knife. It's got sort of a fake ivory looking scale material. Um, I've got a few knives like that. It's basically just plastic, but 
I think it looks nice. It is a bottle opener. Got a little bail on it. Corkscrew. And there's a folding clip point blade. And it says USA down there at the bottom of the blade. That's how you know it's made in China. This is another one of those like fake ivory looking knives down here that, eh, I guess it's a little more yellow than I thought. I got big plans for this knife. Stay tuned. I just gotta find the time to do it. Thank you for this little knife, Tristan Barnett. You know, it, it is small enough to go on a keychain comfortably, I believe. And we have another paper and electric tape package. Oh my. <laughs> I like it already. The King of the Forest Razor. So I guess the King of the Forest are uh, reindeer? Is that what those are? This is made by Rough Rider. And what we have inside is a note. Picked this up at a local pawn shop for $2. Knew you would like it. Wow. So, I think that's real bone. You can kind of see some of the uh, micro features in it. It would be weird to go through the trouble of replicating that with plastic. There's a little green thing on it. Oh, I don't know what that was. It's gone. And there he is, the king of the forest. So yeah, you have like a neat little uh, uh, forest kind of relief piece of art on the handle of this very long and slender razor blade knife. Let's kick it open. Oh, wow. It's a very highly polished blade. There's the Rough Rider emblem there. And just like the knife that he sent me, it's one of those friction folder knives, except eh, it's a little bit rattly, but these things sometimes are. You are correct, Tristan. I do like it. Thank you for the duct tape as well. I don't know what that... <laughs> There's another knife that came out of that package. It says Wild Outdoors, and there's a scene with a couple of eagles. Um, either they're about to fight or they're courting each other. I'm not sure which. And there's a note tucked away in the blade. I got this in a lot of knives. Knew you would like it, so I saved it for you. Well, thank you, Tristan. Thank you for keeping me in mind. Uh, I like the handle already. I don't know what kind of material it is. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of plastic polymer type thing made to look like jigged bone, I suppose. And I can already tell there's some kind of artwork on the blade. And yes, indeed, it's got the uh, pair of eagles there. There's more detail. What is that? Oh, that's kind of funny. So you see to the right of the eagles, there's that strange looking thing. That's just a stamp that says stainless for the steel. But I thought it was like some kind of leading tower of Pisa type of thing, kind of off in the background. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend that's what it is. Uh, and there we have what looks like a birch tree forest, maybe. And on the other side, we have the reverse image. And instead of a stainless tower, it says China. So that is a Chinese tower in the background there. So yeah, it's just one of those cheap... Uh, folders that have the artwork on them. Yeah, blade feels pretty rough, so this is well used. Yeah, that's plastic, but that's fine. It is a back lock. Ooh, it is colliding with the liner, but that's okay. These old knives, you know, that happens after a while. I don't see any rivets, so I think these might be glued on. I mean, um, not sure if there are screws underneath to fix that centering, but it would need to be tightened. There's a little bit of play. Anyway, enough critique. It's a gift. 
I kind of like what they did with this one, where they sort of gave it a a little bit of a distressed look. They kind looks like they kind of washed uh, like a yellowing agent over it. And I like the emblem too, wild outdoors with a paw print of some kind, a badger perhaps. And then there's that reindeer thing. I don't know my animals very well. I would really suck at hunting. I would kill something and I'd be like, I don't know what I just killed. Oh no, that was the last of its kind. <laughs> or maybe that would make me a good hunter. Spread. I am a little overwhelmed by all these birthday presents. I don't even know where to begin. Well, I'll begin with all the editing for this video. I gotta say, my absolute favorite thing, the baseball bat knife, and, you know, the fact that, like, he thought very highly of it, of it and then gifted it to me. This is gonna be a very precious addition to my collection, and I will definitely be putting it on this stand for display. So thank you again, Tristan Barnett, and uh, I'll start thinking about what to get you for your 20th. Stay sharp.